Hi, Janelle here from A Mom's Take, and I'm here to show you some of the Nutrisystem foods. So I just received my next month's shipment, uh, four weeks worth of food, and this is the shelf stable foods, so 18 days worth of food. And as soon as the food arrives, it arrives in two flats like this, flat open boxes, and I just quickly rearrange it and compile it down into one. The foods are a little bit squished in here, but they're just fine. And this allows me to just have one box that I can carry around and put it up high away from the kids and I have everything organized. I've got dinners, lunches, breakfast, and then the desserts. So I can just look through the box, grab out a breakfast, and go ahead and make my meal. It makes it really easy for storage, for finding the foods I need to eat, and having it all in just one simple place. Now my protein drinks I store separately and obviously the freezer foods, they're in my freezer. So this month I'm trying a few new foods that um, I didn't try next uh, last month and so I'm excited to try a few of these like the chocolate frosted donut. Yes, <laughs> I'm missing donuts. And their apple strudel cone, scone, <laughs> for the breakfast entrees. And if you remember um, how much I love my apple strudel bar, yes, I ordered a bunch of these. I'm gonna be eating these again this month. And they just have so much variety to choose from. Chocolate chip scones, banana nut muffin. I even got a bagel this month, which I didn't have last month. So for lunches, they have a bunch of different things like tuna salad and chicken salad. Lunch bars, which I order a lot of these because I think these are really easy for the weekend when I'm busy on the go, driving around the kids. So. You just can put one of these in your purse and take it with you. And then if your kids, you know, end up eating McDonald's or something when you're out and about on the weekend, you can just eat this and you don't have to worry about what they might be ordering. Save you a little bit of money too. <laughs> and I'm going to find a few new things in the lunch category like a peanut butter and jelly bar. It's kind of interesting. We'll see what we think about that one. And um, let's see this one. I think it's my new one. Chicken cagiatori new one for me this month. So I'll have to let you guys know in the, in the upcoming post how these foods tasted and my thoughts on these. Some of the new ones, um, Cajun style chicken and sausage looks really good. I'm excited about that one. And vegetable fajita mix. So the biggest question I've seen come up through my blog post is what does the food taste like? Is the food okay? What are my thoughts on that? So I thought I'd go into that a little bit in this video. Um, I think that the shelf stable foods, um, specifically like the lunch and the dinners, they're just okay. They're decent. They're microwavable foods. I mean, it's kind of like what you might expect from a TV dinner, even though they're shelf stable. Um, they just taste kind of like a frozen TV dinner, especially, you know, these kind of styles in the little cans. As long as you get them really, really hot and let them cool, they're much better than if you just heat them to like a medium temperature. So that's the thing to know. Now these can be cooked. Um, you can place the entree into boiling water and let it cook, or you can put it in the microwave. So there are two options. Generally, I just go with a microwave because it's much, much faster. But I have tried the boiling method too, and they seem to taste about the same to me. Either way, they're prepared. All the breakfast entrees for the most part are really good. I haven't had a problem with any of those. Um, the brand cereal, I mean, brand cereal is not really my thing, but I added some raisins to it, which are allowed as one of your your options. And so um, and then the cereal is great. It tastes like raisin bran. So, you know, there's, there's things that you can do. You can add in your extras that you're allowed, you know, your power fuels that you're given every month and um, to, to add to your meal can really make the difference. Now the desserts, they have lots of great desserts. Uh, like this Thin Mint Crisp Bar, Carrot Cake, this is a new one for me this month. Let's see, I love real carrot cake, so we'll see how the diet one tastes. Um, also, if you read my post, you'll know that I had some issues with uh, cookies last month, so I ordered quite a few different kind of cookies to try. So yeah, there's my thoughts. I think that, you know, after using Nutrisystem for four weeks now, I've lost five and a half pounds. And yeah, the food's not like the best ever. It's definitely the first few days, it's a little bit of a shock because it's you know, you're consistently eating microwave foods, which might be different than what you're used to. 
but I definitely survived on the food. It's really not that bad. It's just after the first few days, you get used to it, and now I'm totally used to it. And I, I actually really enjoy a lot of the food. A lot of the food that I had last month, I ordered again and ordered duplicates of, and I was able to pick the ones that I really liked. So there's a bit of a learning curve when you start finding the foods that you do like and are good for you. But, um, so check my post, see how I'm doing this week, and I will see you again next month.